Welcome back to Catch It, Cook It, and Eat It. I'm your host, Ben Sargent, and today we have Fairway Markets to thank for this episode. I am here with the shameless carnivore. Scott Gold is in the studio. He is the author of The Shameless Carnivore and uh, a meat eater, and today a surf and turf expert. (laughs) Welcome, man. Give us uh, a little a little background on on you and how you became the guy to talk about meat. I was working in book publishing, and just by the way that things uh, happen in life, sometimes it kind of fell into my lap. The I just the basic idea. An editor and an agent thought it would be fun and kind of zeitgeisty to do uh, a carnivore's polemic. I tried to cover all of the aspects about what being a carnivore is, what it means to be an animal that eats other animals. I grew up in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. And every year we'd take a vacation out to, out to the, the Gulf Coast beaches of uh, Alabama and Florida. And we would just have a grand old time out on the beach and yeah. eat a lot of seafood. So this time you went down and what, what is it, how does it look different from how it normally does? Well, it normally, the beach doesn't look like the biggest box of kitty litter you've ever seen in your entire life. Is that, is that it? That, yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. The tar balls look like cat shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> not very More. oily cat shit. Sometimes like cat diarrhea. It's okay. just, it's really, really gross. Yeah. And they got the BP guys there in their lime green t-shirts, you know, that pretending. That kind of takes the fun out of your beach. Yeah. I just, asked you to bring me back a Louisiana tar ball, but I got, I got <laughs> nothing. Nothing. It was, I had a few requests. West. It was like, too. It it's was, like a piece of the Berlin Wall. Come on, man. The phrase "tar balls" makes for an awesome exclamation of despair and frustration. I love the you phrase. Know, it's like, ah, damn it, tar balls, tar balls, tar balls. Ah, tar balls. Uh, <laughs> Some guy rear ends you. Ah, tar, tar balls. <laughs> ah. So I tried to eat 31 different animals in the span of uh, in the span of uh, 31 days. Wow. And so uh, you know, part of a promotional thing, the no, fact that no I was, remorse. No remorse whatsoever. Uh, you know, when you talk about eating animals, you gotta you gotta own up to it. If you're gonna be, you know, a shameless carnivore, if you can, if you're gonna eat meat without shame. Then you have to take your part in the food chain and realize that you know meat comes from somewhere. Yeah. And you know, because we're living in a, an industrialized society, we kind of lose uh, lost track of that a little bit. There's nothing like wild animals. You see that a bit in the, the quality between you know farmed farmed fish and wild fish, mm-hmm. but not as much so as if you have like a wild turkey. Uh, mm-hmm. Leroy Knuckles was generous enough. He had a whole breast nice. of wild turkey in his uh, his meat freezer, and it was seriously I think the best turkey I've ever had in my entire really? life. Because yeah. yeah, because look at the way the animal is living. It's right. Um, it's it's eating what God intended it to eat. Right. It's you know it's moving about like the the breast meat. Even the breast meat was was quite dark. Right. Uh, and it and it tasted like turkey, but like really really intensely turkey. Huh. We have to throw our kebabs on. That's oh right. God. We have we kebabs. Got distracted. <laughs> and we're making a, a combined kebab, um, which is uh, scallops and duck hearts. And marinated duck hearts. Marinated duck hearts. We got some green peppers and some red peppers, some apples. Let's assemble our kebabs. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. I was in the kitchen fixing up a chicken, asking where your friends is, all the little guinea hens. Quack, quack, out back playing in the pig pen, duck, duck, goose with the feathers and the pigeons. Look out, kids. Cheers, my friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Duck Goat rode the caribou, asking about the thing to do. Limes by your mamas, we're gonna be a barbecue. White tail, snail, quail, antelope roast for two. Carry up a board, this is more than just me and you. Look out, kid, you know what we'll do. We'll stick you on a spit before you ever see a pet in zoo. Nice. 31 animals in 31 days. You cook them up a thousand ways. It's amazing. A cow says, how you gonna put me on a plate? Chuck roast prime rib, brisket or a strip steak. Elk's got nothing on the mutton, elk's great. Stay away from guinea pig when you're on a first date. Look out, friend, are you vegetarian? I love you, but I can't share what I just ate. 31 animals in 31 days, you cook them up a thousand. 31 animals in 31 days, you cook them up a thousand. 31 animals in 31 days, you cook them up a thousand ways. It's amazing. Yeah.
Yeah. All right. All right.